Welcome back to Let's Play Painkiller Black Edition. I know I've briefly touched upon this before, but it's so it's so different playing a game when you record as opposed to when you play a game on your own. It, it kind of makes me sad um, sometimes when I let's play a game that I'm let's playing it instead of playing it normally because when I turn off fraps to to go into the next recording, the game is just so smooth. It's 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 like baby skin smooth and it's it's so nice, but. Unfortunately, when you're recording, you you lose that aspect because it depends it depends on your PC and the game and how tough the game is and all that kind of stuff and just um my rig is strong enough to let's play the games that I let's play but I'm sure there are people who could let's play this game and have it have it move as smoothly as if they weren't let's playing it at all but I mean recording it but it is it is a a accepted and and undeniable quirk of the recording process that one you are using software to record games it has to slow down the game and your computer at the same time there is a level of slowdown regardless of how tough the pc is there might be less slowdown if your pc is capable of handling more but nevertheless the slowdown still does exist in some capacity or the other Keep picking these up because if nothing else it's, it's gonna still give me the alternate ammo which of course I don't have in unlimited amounts and I did that again because I'm still thinking there's a crouch button there will never be a crouch button I can stop trying that lots of explodey things I'd like a new weapon New toy would be nice. But I'm doing well with the toys I have. Just looting the place at this point. Have all those go off. Gold coins for days. Couple of coins at a time. Isn't there a flat? Whoops. Well, I popped that. I probably forgot to use it when it mattered, anyways. Shame on me. Shame on me. That's over now. Hey, you! Grenades do not immediately explode on contact with an enemy. Good to know. I want to get away from this guy. I'm not actually entirely sure this is even hurting him. He doesn't freeze. He's got some blood effects. So I imagine it has to be hurting him. We'll keep this up for a bit. I mean, shotgun ammo is plentiful enough. The blood effect leads me to believe that we're accomplishing something. Just slowly. Okay, we've gone through 50 shells on this guy. Part of me also thinks we need to send them into the fire and flames, but considering I don't have any kind of knockback on any of my stuff, wouldn't know how to do that. So we'll keep shooting the guy. The game auto saved, but we'll waste all of our ammo, we can just load up anyways. Although, let's switch back to this. They do just break, which leads, makes me think it's not going to do anything. Hmm. Perhaps, 
Just a here's a plan, here's a theory. He walks on this. It's not stable enough to hold the both of us. Can he get me over here? He's certainly gonna try. He's just gonna haunt that ladder. Yeah. I was thinking maybe he would make it collapse and I would quickly have to jump over here. No. That doesn't seem to have any effect. Let's go over here. No, I still get the feeling that just shooting the guy is not gonna help. Like, I've shot the guy as much as a guy can get shot, you know? Maybe he, maybe he just, he's a glutton for punishment. It's possible. Right, that's pretty much that ammo. So, unless one of these finishes him off. Are you dying? Or you just felt like taking a breather? I mean, we can take five, dude. Look, I need to leave and get more shotgun ammo, so if you want to take a break, like, I'm getting tired of just leading you around. I'm not deliberately going for headshots. Maybe I need to be doing that. Though somehow I doubt that matters. There are butt effects when I hit him with these. Maybe it's hurting the guy, but... This is a lot of damage they expect you to do if you're low on ammo. Again, still getting the vibe that this is not, in fact, actually working. We'll load if this doesn't work. If he does not, in fact, eventually die. Because I'm not losing all this ammo pointlessly. It took me a while to acquire this much crossbow ammo. Or staker ammo or what. Whatever ammo you call it. Again, not entirely sure this is working. The guy might just be a glutton for punishment, I don't know. I can't be the only one who's getting the vibe that this is not what I'm supposed to do, you know? You all feel it too, don't you? Stay up. Before we load, let's see if we can try to figure out what we are supposed to do. Shooting these hands certainly doesn't seem to do anything. Though it is amusing. We've heard ourselves once we've heard this guy, probably. No? No? Jump through the flag? Random thought, but no, it didn't work. Maybe we were, either, maybe we were just supposed to bail? Nah, I still popped that already. Thank you for reminding me. Ying, ring, ying. Not sure on this one. Not sure. I mean, I can just do this till the cows come home if we're actually gonna hurt the guy. But again, based on the fact that we shot him with a hundred shotgun shells and he didn't go down, I'm guessing that's not the plan. Oh. Oh! 
Can't get me now, can you, sunshine? <laughs> I'm not supposed to be here. Oh well. <laughs> I wish I had a bone game. Should throw me one. Give me that loot. I shouldn't have to look to a walkthrough for painkiller. <laughs> He doesn't even hit that hard. Ow, that one hit a little harder. Ow, that one hit a little harder. Maybe you're supposed to hit him in the back? I don't know. I'm... Every once in a while, he just stops. That AI, probably. I'm trying to figure out what he's supposed to be doing. The second I'm out of armor, he's going to hit like a train. This is the fastest way I can think to do a bunch of damage if doing damage is what needs to be done. I don't have my tarot card. See, I don't think damage is going to take care of this guy. Oh, sweet! Oh, sweet! You can totally fire it when it's doing this little spin. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, that's so cool! I made an awesome discovery! Come on, sunshine! What do you want from me? Damage is not the key here. Damage is not the key. Is it in the hands? I can't break this stupid thing. Jumping into the lava doesn't help. Maybe I gotta wait till he tries to swing? No. I can jump over here. Then I can fall to my death. I don't know. I don't know. What? <sighs> I don't understand. You can't run from him because it locks you in. I mean, you can't run from the room, rather. I don't see any other way out of the room. I mean, that'd be easy enough if I saw any kind of other exit. But we've established jumping into the fire doesn't help it. There's a mouth over here I can't get into. The only place that looks like it might lead somewhere is that one. And even then, at a closer look, it doesn't look like it leads anywhere. We're stuck down here again. Which doesn't help us anyhow. Let's just go ahead and die. I think it tallies up how many times you died at the end of a mission. Let's see. Uh... We've only missed one monster. We've destroyed more objects than are supposed to exist in the level. And it says kill all monsters for the mission. I don't know. I don't know, people. I don't know on this one. Can let me pick up that coin? Fine, screw you too. I mean... The only other thing I can think is... She has to be able to just soak an exorbitant amount of damage. Like an insane, crazy amount. 
but we've gone to what any sane man would consider enough damage and he hasn't died. Well, I don't know if there's much else to it just to unload everything. Give him a hundred bolts, give him a hundred shotguns, and just hit him with the, the, the default weapon a lot and see if he eventually gives up. If he's at a weak spot, I don't see it. This is going to get very tedious. I'm out of ideas. I'm looking for some sort of environmental kill. I can't. I keep looking at the pit, but there's nothing. And I fall off of my own death. Ugh. Alright, I guess I'll be back. Hello, one and all, welcome back to Let's Play Painkiller Black. Um, I don't know why I started with that. This is going to be a continuation on the last video. This is actually going to be one video for you guys. So, I looked it up. I, I genuinely looked it up because I got tired of trying to deduce it myself. Oh, would you look at that? There's a thing on the ceiling. Ah. Would you look at that? Stand in the light, fair friend. Yeah. It's that easy. <sighs> Makes you feel stupid. I wasn't looking up. I got the new card. Soul Sail Armor, not terrible. Maybe we can go visit the deck. I've got this card. It cut, The other one costs 500 to place. I have 952. It depends on if I want to actually place it. I thought I had 952. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. It looks like a nine to me. Soul stay longer. It is only what the one hit point thing. Yeah. I'll save up, I guess. On to level four, the cathedral. You can select the different chapters. Of course, we've unlocked nothing in the other chapters. Then go over to level four. And let's go into the cathedral. Yeah feel kind of stupid about that one I wasn't looking up but at the same time I'm glad I did eventually look it up because if I left that to my own resources I would have never saw that also the game took all of my ammo good to know and we're thrusted right into combat You guys look different from the other ones. A lot more pale, boys. A lot more pale. Nah. Stick to a longer range weapon. Whoa! Forgot you guys have a tendency to throw. Stick and move, then. Stick and move. As it should be. That last fight made me complacent. Dodging one easy opponent over and over and over. Foes are this way. Roger Dodger. What's up? Alright, we're gonna clear this room and then we're gonna end the video. Sweet bolts. 
Yes, we. Pew. Thank you. Pew. That's so awesome. <laughs> bad ass melee weapon. I tell you, bad ass. All right, let's save here because I don't trust the auto save. So, when we come back, we'll continue to go throughout the cathedral. Thank you all for watching. This is Wabataka setting off. Take care and bye-bye.